Okay, Cheryl, what the hell is going on with us? I'm glad you asked, Veronica. That's why I brought us here. I've been doing some reading, occult volumes I've collected over the years. I may have further insight into Percival's machinations. Okay, when spellcasting, an enchanter uses personal items to focus their magic on their targets. Strands of hair, fingernail clippings, clothing, or in our case, the collateral he received for our missing library books. I believe Percival is using these items as totems to harness our manifest phantoms from our past or our subconscious to haunt us, test us, torment us. Does that resonate with anyone? Maybe. Percival took a book that my grandfather had written and given to me. When my grandfather died back when I was in New York. He, uh, he was covered in eczema, especially his hands, which were completely disfigured. Oh my God, Jug. One of my greatest fears is that I'll die alone like him, only having written one book. How do we stop what's happening? It's pretty straightforward. Find our missing library books, get back our confiscated items, break a spell. But would Percival even return our things at this point? Well, he said he would. Fair is fair. Indeed, there are rules when spell weaving. A certain order that needs to be maintained. You seem pretty blasé about this, Cheryl. I've always dabbled in the supernatural. And I'm pretty comfortable with the ghost that's been invoked from my past. We gave Percival the tools to hurt us. What if we can't find our books? Then we have no choice but to face our demons and hope we survive the encounters. is not on the premises, but should you desire to play music again, please accept this cello. Warmest regards, Percival. Hey again, did you get a hold of Doc? Yeah, I got a hold of him. You doing okay? No, definitely not doing okay. That's why I need my book. How about that? Doc said he sold it. As they were heading west, had to shed everything they were carrying with them to travel light. Okay. Uh, do you know where he sold it? Matter of fact, I do. A place called uh, Barney's Book Barn, right off Route 42 in Allentown. Allentown, Pennsylvania? Okay. Okay. 